This video will deal with the process of generating a cutting list for metal panels um, using a process that we refer to as blocking. Now before we apply blocks to this roof it's uh, a useful thing to remove all the dimensions and what have you that clutters up the drawing. So we go to check, set to display and turn the dimensions off and you might also turn off the roof pitch while we're at it. So now we have a nice clean drawing. The next thing we would do is select a metal panel. Now in this case I've already selected one but it's normally selected from a list uh, of all the panels available in uh, that you've defined. Uh, this is the panel we defined uh, earlier on and uh, we hit OK and that the details about that panel are displayed. The most important number of all is the cover width. Regardless of the profile the cover width is what determines the number of panels that we will use. The blocking method also takes account of the overhang into the gutter and that's determined by what you've defined in your allowances file. Allowances are set under the estimate allowances menu and in this case uh, I think I've got 50mm into the gutter that is automatically added to the length of the panel when I use blocking. So blocking is uh, or auto block is the process that we use and it uh, generally applies a, a whole bunch of rectangular areas to the roof based on the uh, common length of the panels. And it assumes that the offcuts from one area will be flipped into the diagonally opposite area on a hip end. This method doesn't display how those offcuts are reused. It is assumed, um, and reasonably so, that the installers know what they're doing. So we don't have to, have to show the installers where the offcuts go. Uh, it's generally assumed they know, and, and indeed usually they do. So any area of rectangle, there's one big rectangle there. That's one area of sheets in there. There's 12 sheets, 34, 20. This area requires some longer sheets. Now where these uh, areas overlap can be generally considered to be waste areas. The cutting list that's generated shows the length of each panel and the number of panels of that length and that includes the overhang into the gutter. All accessory items are also picked up in our list and they will appear in our inventory when we do our supply and install at a later time. Also reported is the total length of coil required to do this job, the area of the panels versus the area of the roof and the difference will be the waste factor, that is to say what's cut and chucked on the ground. So that's blocking. There's uh, very um, limited ways to interact with it, but there are a bunch of tools to modify the blocks. This uh, process has been in our software for a very long time, and these methods of modifying the blocks are well understood by our more experienced operators and will not be dealt with in this video. But be aware that there are lots of tools to interact with the result if you're not satisfied with the result produced by the software. Well, that ends this video, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on another one shortly.